trailer where she would not let him go. I was like, baby, I don't know. Um, I really feel that it is important to be honest and transparent when you have a platform. A lot of uh, women and men and celebrities get um, on Instagram and they take pictures and there's so much work that goes into their look and people just think that they could never accomplish that or obtain it because they're not perfect or they're not rich and they don't realize all of the work that goes into it. So I like to be just transparent about that specifically for young women because I don't want them um, trying to fulfill unrealistic goals in terms of looks um, of pictures that have been photoshopped and have been worked on. Um, I also know that budget is a big concern for a lot of people. Everybody isn't rich. Most of us are not in the top 1%. So we uh, value our dollars and we cannot afford to do wear fancy clothes and couture and name brands all the time and or at all and uh, many of us can't you know afford to have a professional makeup artist on hand and do our hair so some of the things that i do to cut corners is i go to dry bar um, and i go get my hair washed and conditioned and blow dried a lot of times to begin with that way um, if I can't afford to get my hair done, I know that at least my hair is going to look decent. And um, even for my Netflix special, um, I did conceptualize my look. That ponytail cost $20 from a, I went to a beauty supply store and I bought $20. Uh, I bought a 18 inch ponytail that was like $19.99 and I bought some Pro Style Gel. And that's how I did my ponytails for many years when I couldn't afford to go professionally get them done. I would just slick my hair back with the Pro Style Gel, wipe down my edges so that they wouldn't look dark, and then I would just slap the ponytail in and rode it out. And a lot of people didn't even know that it was a fake ponytail and or that it wasn't professionally done. It's my first look, and I am... Um, I just got on a basic white t-shirt that I got from H&M that was like $19.99 and I'm wearing some Zara jeans that I actually got on sale for like eight bucks and natural makeup, dry bar hair and that's how we doing it. So this look is, um, I got this little dress off of Zara, the Zara website, it was online, um, only $35, and I got some red boots that I'm going to rock with it that I got from, the, from Nordstrom Rack, from the Rack, and um, I believe they were $55, bucks. and I'm wearing H&M jewelry, and yeah, so red lips. And let's go. Sometimes um, you can find these things online at H&M and in Zara. They have these amazing sales where you can get stuff for under $10. All right, so this look, it's a little different because this is me paying homage to all the people who pour into me and love me. So this dress my daughter bought for me and these shoes my son bought for me. And this nameplate that says Aidita, which is my family nickname, uh, my boyfriend bought for me. And so, hair and makeup done by Benita, styled by Justine, photographed by Tish. So this is just the village. I don't know how much the stuff costs because they were gifts. And I always think that when you do something creatively, you should always instill those things that inspire you, that fill you with love, and that you love back because you can see it in the work. Makeup is a very personal thing, and everybody loves to look beautiful. Some people want to be more natural, some people want to be more glamorous, and it's really hard to obtain these looks when you are balling on a budget. So, um, a lot of people don't know that when I did last Comic Standing, I got my hair done at the dry bar and I got my makeup done 
at the Blushington factory or the Blushington company. And um, for less than $100, I was able to get camera ready and get my hair done. And that's just some of the realities that some women have to deal with. Me being a single mom and at the time not having my own home, I couldn't afford to spend hundreds of dollars on makeup and hair. So I just created my own way and I sat down and I thought about the best way to make it happen. I went to Groupon. Um, I went to all of those sites where you get beauty products for less money and um, I found that Dry Bar was probably the cheapest at that time and they did a great job. So um, when you put things together for yourself, you know, it's always cool to do a little photo shoot. If you're a professional, you don't have to be an actress, you don't have to be a Hollywood celebrity. So maybe you just want a new photo shoot or some Christmas pictures or some family pictures. There are a lot of resources for women out there who don't have a lot of money. And you can still look beautiful and feel your best. And I'm still here. This is my fourth look. I got two more to go. Uh, I am rocking this faux leather dress from Zara. It was on sale for like 59 bucks. I'm wearing a Mrs. Kisses bra. Um, so for the flawless look, I don't have the heaviness, some of us ladies with the big ones know, of the straps. And um, I feel this lightness also I'm lifted without having surgery and feeling good about myself. Now here I'm wearing some Gucci boots. I know these are not cheap. These were a gift. And I um, honor my gifts. My good friend April Macy, who is also a comedian on They Ready, got these for me in Italy. And I absolutely love them. They're platform Gucci boots. And they, along with these H&M earrings and rings, complete my look. And I feel like I can go conquer the world or beat up some men. All right, so we're almost done. And I am wearing my fire-inspired look. So I am uh, rocking some Max Azaria BCBG pants. And these were not the most inexpensive pants, but I wanted them. These were a Christmas gift to myself. I have on some um, Gucci Mary Jane pumps that were also a gift from my friend April Macy. Um, they're also uh, very comfortable and I really like them. And the shirt I'm wearing is from Zara online. Um, I, I decided to mix my uh, accessories with the gold and silver. And I have this Selena inspired bun. This is the fire theme, which is why the makeup is gold. And listen, um, sometimes when you work really hard, you save up your money and you buy those things that you want. And that's what I did. I am happy. Ta-da! My final look of the day. I actually really like this look. I think it's my favorite. Um, this concept came from an old Robert Palmer video. You remember the Robert Palmer girls? That's why the slick back hair with the, uh, the intense makeup. I wanted to do something editorial. Now, I'm back down to a budget. These boots that I have on, these white boots that are high fashion boots, Amazon, $35. These pants are from Zara. They were on sale online for $35 as well. And the jacket? on sale for 70 bucks. The jewelry, again, H&M, and uh, the ponytail provided by my mama. So, I, oh, I'm wearing a necklace that I got from, this is from Zara. So, all of it was uh, less than a 100 bucks. And um, that's how we're rolling. So, bra by Victoria's Secrets, one of those half a year sales. So this bra was like $19.99. So there it is. For $150, my numbers keep going up, you can accomplish this editorial look and you don't have to feel bad about spending too much money and you look like a million bucks. We've 
reached the end of the shoot, which is why you hear the trucks in the background, because they, they're coming. They're coming and they want us to go. Um, I just hope that you continue to follow me and I continue to inspire you to be your best self no matter where you are, how much money you have and what you're doing. You are worth more than a million bucks and don't let anybody fool you into believing that they're better than you because they have on name brands. You are the shit.